Alright guys, this is probably going to be my third tutorial for uh, what is going to be the uh, trailer template for how to make your own trailer skin. I made truck skins and also mudflap skins. Uh, mudflap skins, you know, that's uh, takes a little bit less time. Might take a bit more. But yeah, I'm going to take you from the process from 0 to 100. No speeding the video, no skipping whatever. I will fully walk through it myself. While I'm doing it, so yeah. So first off, you're always gonna need your mod studio. You know, have it ready. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description, and then you want your design. And you could have your design, you know, uh, whatever it could be. Um, you know, just a quick logo, whatever. It'll be fine. All right. So then next, you're gonna want your uh, templates. You know, I have two templates right here. Uh, truck, truck some templates or ATS templates. Either of these work. I will also link them in the description. But uh, yeah. Also, you can do a quick Google on uh, what you want. And what, you know. Also, as always, you always want your folder. I have trailer skins. All right. So, first things first, you gotta open up your favorite. Photo editor, that's Photoshop. I use it for all the tutorials I'm gonna be using for it right now. Yeah. Also, uh, then open. Um, first you want to locate them. You want to locate your things. So it's a uh, template. So um, yeah, it's the RER file. So I'll be doing the sliding tarp. Uh, we'll be doing the 48 footer. Be the one that we're um and take this one out right here. Uh, fast clipboard, paste right here. 40 yeah, ours right here back open it again should be around you're not right there eight foot all right um you can just add a layer right now just so it's easier to see just put it in white just so we can work with it a bit easier all right using gimp same thing you can also put a layer just make sure uh, the eye thing is labeled, or you just delete the layer altogether. So there's multiple parts to this right here. Um, so you can tell this is reflected right here. Front, this is the back, this is the left portion, the right portion. Also, before I forget, always lock that layer. That lock that layer in position. This is the top. A lot of trailers in real life. If you look at, let's say, sliding tarps, sliding. You know, sliding tarp trailers, a lot of them, a lot of them, so right here, kind of so good, whatever you want to call them, they have that white portion right there. So, just to start it off, we can also have a layer right here. This is the uh, template, so we always got to name it. But it's easier just to name your stuff and then a little bit more organized. And this, this will be the top area. Top. Um, also, uh, this right here is the curve part. So what we will be able to do right here is we can zoom in a bit. A bit, and I mean it doesn't have to be, but right there is good. You can make it white. Just make it. I guess. Don't cross these lines because you don't want it overlapping. You might as well have the blue, like let's say whatever side color you want, overlap up. And rather overlapping down. So yeah, and then we just fill this portion right here. Um, then, you know, deselect all the sides right here. You can make these sides both the same. Uh, let's, do, let's do that right here. Uh... Select it. Just want that to be one color. Uh, 
with a uh, blue or with a dark blue. Then you got that. You get lost, you know, we got that right there. These are the back panels. Um, back panels, you can make it whatever. Uh, let's just go for a simple. You know what? Let's just make a quick design right here. Uh, make it dip down. Corner. Go up to here. Doesn't matter if you go a bit over. It's just preferable that you go a bit over on the sides want to um yeah we can fill so this is blue um then we'll quick select a few make this cross like that I don't really care for uh turn this in white there. Um then also turn that. Right there, white. Then, so this is our finished product. Or even then, we can add, let's say, a logo. Uh, I don't know. Um, a company. Look up that. Uh, clients. Whatever. Or quick art. Fine. Doesn't come up as I think. But you know, let's just add a Sonic. Uh, Sonic. Transparent peony. I don't really matter. Transparent, copy image, paste it in here. Uh, let's just make a new layer for this. Issue, however, if you're pretty good with all this editing stuff. Um. Just so we know our placement, we can always um, turn these off. So the thing about these trailers, they come in sections. So one, two, three, four, five. They're in five pieces. You want it on the second panel, either or these panels. Usually a lot of companies do it right here between these four panels or just the first panel. Reason being, you want to go for realism. You know, one of these panels gets shredded or something. These would replace one thing. Um, that black should be. We should just add, it, leave it there. Sonic right there. Copy, paste, paste Sonic right there. Image. Transform horizontally and flip vertically. Never flip horizontal. This face is all one way. Then we'll just bring these back. We got Sonic right there. That's all good. Now, export. Export as. And, you know, we'll just make it something quick. Export. Um. 
So yeah, we have it right here. Uh, we can always go back to other skins. Right there. Then we go back to uh, Mod Studio. Yes, Mod Project, Mod Manifest. Their name. Whatever your name was. Not enough. You can get as intricate as you want skins. I just do something quick. Yeah. Version just 1.0. Kind of quick. Then trailer. Um, do graphics and paint job. Just helps you organize them if you want to go. Icon, default, text. Uh, mod man, if you go to back at template, we're doing a trailer skin. Flatbed curtain, that's what we want. Basic, and internal name, Sonic. Skin, we're doing the 48. Skin name, Sonic. Sonic, leave it at that. Skin price. One base color. This doesn't matter. Um, alternate UV. You can always go click it, see what it's about. You know, not mirrored. So uh, we can do that. And in case it is mirrored, it doesn't matter. We can always go ahead, open it, and remove. Fault. You can always change it. You know, there's no um, issue with it. And it's a curtain 48. Um, you can try and do curtain 45, whatever. Do it at your own risk. Probably not work. Accessories. Um, I, I do not add an image. I don't. Usually for like the bubble part, whatever else is painted. Mask options. Uh, don't I don't I wouldn't mess around with this. I think it's necessary in our case. Then go to file, export mod, export, and go back to American Truck Simulator mod. Sonic. Sonic. Mod export successful. Does that boot up your American Truck Simulator? No. Have it all skip over. Or if it's loud. Um. So yeah, we got the Sonic. Sonic end trailer. Uh, quickly, do you know? Boot it up. Have the whole thing sign in. Load up whatever you need. You know, once the whole thing pops in, it's all good. Vehicle browser, you can always go to trailer browser. Trailer browser is a little bit easier, just so you know it works. Um, we had a lighting tarp go right here. Uh, lighting tarp, and we had the 48 foot. So it would work for all these. I'm the spread axle. Why not? Sonic, you see? And there's that little overlap I was saying. Yeah, that yeah. Do you mind? It's rather better to have that overlap. You know, we can always work this out a bit better. Whatever, but it works. All that matters. So yeah, right there. Um, when it came to accessories, this is what I was talking about. See how this is gray? This is the base color. Now with accessories, you always have that extra. You can get that extra template. Do it. Put it up there. You know, you can put lots of your company name. Whatever, but yeah, it all works, and then, yeah, that's how, or in our case, yeah, that's about it. And then, you know, if you want to add, you can walk around, it's still there. But, I mean, the quality, be good at first glance, so, yeah. Well, that's uh, trailer skinning. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, always, I'm very responsive to comments. If you have any.
other inquiries, just let me know. Thanks.